guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you guys already didn't know my name is Morgan and in today's video I'm going to be making like oatmeal carrot cookies um, only because if you follow me on Instagram you would see that um, my dad grew a bunch of carrots in his garden and I have a full bowl over here that I need to cook with so I'm gonna make in this video the oatmeal carrot cookies and then I'm gonna also make a video on like a carrot cake loaf bread for Mother's Day since Mother Day, Mother's Day is this weekend for me. Uh, so I'm just gonna make the loaf for both of my grandmas and then I'm gonna do the cookies for my family. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. Um, it's probably not gonna be uploaded back to back only because I do have like a cook with me video coming up. It's either Tuesday is gonna be this one or whenever. I get the chance to upload these, but yeah, so let's get Alrighty, started. Alrighty, so after about like 30 to 40 minutes of prepping, I'm ready to start. Okay, so what you're gonna want is one teaspoon of vanilla. I'll list the ingredients somehow, I promise. But, so you're gonna want a three fourths cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of softened buttered butter, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of flour, Measured, spooned, and leveled. Same with one and a half cups of oats. You know, one and a half cups of freshly grated carrots, which I did, and then a bunch of spices that I don't remember the measurements because it called for a bunch. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna beat your brown sugar and your butter until um, fluffy, and then you're gonna add in your two eggs and your vanilla. So I'll come back when that's done because I don't have my tripod and the space is really limited right now in front of me because I just don't feel like putting a tripod out. Preheat your oven to 375 and then I'll come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then add in the rest of your ingredients and then mix with a wooden spoon. But, uh, so yeah, I'll come already. So this is what it looks like. Hold on, I'll show a better angle. This is what it looks like. And now I'll grease a baking sheet. And then oven's almost preheated. And then I'll let you know how long to bake it. Alrighty, so my cookies turned out. I cooked them for 11 minutes and they're done perfectly. And now I'm just making like an icing to get over them with a tablespoon, my finger, of pineapple juice and then half a cup of powdered sugar. So I'll come back once those are done and then I'll do the outro. Hi guys, so it is Tuesday since I've filmed this video. Um, so I'm trying to think about what I'm filming the outro for. I'm filming the outro for the oatmeal cookies. So those cookies are absolutely delicious. I just took a spoon and drizzled icing. I didn't cover all of them because I made too many that the recipe called for, which is fine. Um, they're absolutely delicious. The only note that I would add is to add a little bit more of like spices if you like more like intensified flavors. Other than that, it was a really good recipe. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. And I will see you next in my next video. Bye, guys.